Death Stranding, the upcoming open world action game by Hideo Kojima, has some big names associated with it. One of these names is Norman Reedus, the Walking Dead star who will have some major part to play in the game. In an interview with MTV during Comic-Con, via YouTuber Yang Ye, Reedus said something about his role in the game that may end up being potentially revealing and prophetic. Hideo Kojima, he's such a genius, Rita said, I'm just doing whatever he says. He says we will make people cry, and I say, for a video game, and he says, yep, and I'm just, alright, and I ask him, playing me? And he says, no, they'll be you, and I'm just, I'm just doing whatever he says. The answer is interesting, because it specifically draws a differentiation between playing as Reedus and being Reedus. It's entirely possible that there's nothing more to this than some artistic hogwash on Kojima's part. Then again, knowing how crazy the man is, I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised if Death Stranding turns out to be some kind of meta-narrative on the state of humanity, and one of the twists involves the player literally being Norman Reedus. Hey, this is the man who made Metal Gear Solid 2, alright? The Xbox One has been going great guns in the past few months. Microsoft announced the console was the best-selling console in the United States for September as per data from the NPD Group. That makes this the third month in a row that the Xbox One has beaten the PS4 and become the best-selling console in the United States. It's especially impressive when you consider the PS4 has been on a best-selling streak since late 2015. The Xbox One S has been a major contributor to the continued success of Microsoft after debuting in August. It's also possible that the recent announcement of the PS4 Pro, despite the PS4 Slim releasing in September, motivated customers to wait for the better version before investing in the cheaper option. If that weren't enough, Forza Horizon 3 was the best-selling first-party title for the month, and the Xbox One managed to sell more this past September than September 2015 in the US, UK, and Australia regions among current-gen consoles. Crash Bandicoot's remaster for the PS4 was announced at E3 earlier this year, and now it seems like we may be playing it sooner than we expected. Two separate retailers, Finnish retailer FPD.fi and Zillion Games, a Brazilian retailer, have made listings for Crash Bandicoot's remaster, indicating that it will be launching on February 28, 2017. If this release day is true, then that means it'll be yet another release for the PS4 and what is fast turning into a very crowded month for it indeed. February will see the release of Persona 5, Nier Automata, Neo, and of course, Horizon Zero Dawn, which will be launching on the same day as Crash Bandicoot if these rumors hold true. Of course, we don't know when we'll be playing the remasters of the other two games, or when we'll be playing the remaster of the first one on PS4. It was only announced as a timed exclusive for the PS4, but hey, it's a start. The listing on Zillion Games also leaked what might be the box art for the remaster. You can check it out above. It isn't anything too fancy, but for Crash Bandicoot fans, it should tug at the heartstrings. Resident Evil 7 looks like a rebirth for the franchise. After Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 took the series into a more action-oriented direction, Resident Evil 7 seems to be returning Resident Evil back to its survival horror roots. One of the ways the game can add stakes and tension to the proceedings is via its save system. If it has sparsely spaced out save points, then each death carries a harsher penalty for the player, leading to them being more cautious and wary. It's the same principle that the Souls games employ. And in an interview with Yuga Tech, the game producer Masuchika Kawada noted that Resident Evil 7 will use save points strategically in a similar vein. The game is a linear experience, meaning not that there's only one way through. Rather, it takes place in a linear timeline, so it's not divided into chapters, he said. However, as far as saving is concerned, there's an autosave system, so if you die, you can restart not as far back. There will also be rooms to act as manual save points. Just to note, depending on the difficulty situation that you choose, the saving system also varies. If you choose a harder difficulty, the saving system won't be so nice to you. We hope you've enjoyed this video, so please consider subscribing to our channel. We do original content, reviews, graphics comparison, and much more, and try to upload a video every day. Thank you very much for checking us out.